man. We, we are, are back, back in here, man. It's the B-Side Show. Act like you know every single Monday night, we got the livest artists coming through every week, letting us know what's going on, and tonight's no different. Go ahead and introduce yourself, fam. What's good, people? How y'all doing out there? This is Tracy Lee, man. Straight out of Philly, but living in the D.C. area right now, man. And I'm just glad to chop it up with y'all on the left coast, man. This is good. This is good. T. Lee in the building, yo. Hey, and we, we even recently switched back to our original time slot an hour earlier, but thank you for, you know, staying up. I know it's a little later on your side, but thank you for that. I was looking forward to this, man, so yeah. I, I made sure I took a nap earlier. Yeah, you know right? <laughs> hey, I did too, bro. <laughs> I feel good yeah, right now. Me yeah. too, y'all. If I'm a little weird, it's because I drove 20 hours straight, so I went through three states to be here for the Oracle edition today, so if I, if I seem a little off Now that's kilter. dedication. And she straight pulled up in moccasins and shit. She was ready to go. Uh, Yo, I went through the Southwest, <laughs> man. So I, I had to switch to these yeah, after. Yeah. But like when I got here, I had my moccasins on because I went through Texas, New Mexico, Nevada, to Cali. And I was just like, I got to wear the moccasins, man. I had it on cruise control. I was trying to keep myself under, you know, 80 degrees. 80 degrees. See what I'm saying? 80. <laughs> <laughs> 80 miles per hour. <laughs> 80. That's, yeah, all right. She's pushing it, but she made it. You know what? You had to to get here on time. Yeah. That's what it is. Hey, um, I, I wanted to ask, man, uh, right off the top, we'll, we'll get into some some other stuff, too. But, bro, this, this new piece, man, with the book and everything is like... It's like, it's like uh, genius, genius shit, shit, dog. Like, hey, good, 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 what? Like, first off, like, what gave you um, that inspiration to come with it? Because that's a whole lot of more work, man, and uh, to come with it like that, bro. Um, I think it was, you know, because it was a couple of things. Okay, so we're going through a pandemic right now, and I haven't, um, you know. In the last, in the last few, few years, years, I haven't I have written, written anything down with regards to rhymes. You know what I'm saying? saying? Everything was, was, you know, writing, writing in my head, head and then, and you know, transferring it into the mic. You know what I mean? Of course, of course going, going over and over, over it, you know, with it, but, you know, eventually, eventually it'll go from, from here, here to, to the microphone and recording and all that. But I just felt like this time, I wanted to document it. You know what I mean? And so it eventually, I mean, it originally started off with me just writing my rhyme down, putting it in a, in a, in a, in a, in a place like a notepad or whatever and me you know just wanted to keep it there but then as i started to write i was like you know what why don't we develop this into a book so me and my wife you know i brought the idea to my wife and then she took it to a whole nother level she because she has a publishing company now some publishing and so she was like okay if we're gonna do this you know you just don't want to put rhymes on the book we're gonna make it an event we're gonna add some photography to it and then after we did that i thought we were done and she said no you know, I want you to write journal entries for each song just to give people a glimpse of what your mind state was when you wrote these particular songs. So that's what, and then also because everybody's an artist, it feels like, you know, everybody rhymes and all those. So, you know, whether good, bad, or indifferent, the market is saturated. So I wanted to create something that separated me from everybody else. Okay, everybody has music out there, everybody has, you know, songs on DSPs and all that other kind of stuff. But what is going to make your project, project stand, stand out from everybody else. else. So, so that's, that's also a part of the inspiration to create this book as well. It's a full production. I was curious regarding this particular project. I know that in the past you mentioned that you would write your lyrics down. Then you said you noticed that other people that you had had featured on some of your songs didn't do that. They just went straight in the booth and spit. And I was curious for Glory did you write it down or did you use that same method and then write it later? No, no, no. I, I wanted to document every single thing about this particular project. Because again, I felt like we were in a different time. I felt like this was going to be a moment in time where, you know, people will remember this particular period, you know, you know, specifically talking about the pandemic forever. You know history. what I mean? This will go down in history books when people learn, you know, things about where the world was in 2020. It will be in every history book from hundreds, 200, 300 years from now. So I wanted to make sure that I had something that was documented other than the the music itself. Like, I, I, you know, my mind, you know, as an artist, you know, we think of weird stuff all the time. So my mind was, you know, if somebody would, if I write this down 
and I put it in a notepad and, and then and then you know the, the, the notepad gets lost somewhere you know a hundred years from now I want somebody to be able to dig it up in the ground and be like oh wow look what I found you know what I'm saying like I wanted to have the, and that and that was my whole mind state so it's like nah I'm gonna document this man because it has to be something else other than the other than the audio that that people can can look and read and and because of the stuff that i was talking about as well so i just wanted to make sure that i wrote this particular project down it, that it has really to, is like gospel oh yeah I, I was just gonna say real quick that has to um that has to feel really good when you got someone on your own team at, at home plate that you know obviously your, your lady's gonna believe in what you're doing but to take it to that level and even challenge yeah. you challenge you as an artist that had to feel good bro I know, man, that, that felt fantastic, man. I mean, because honestly, this was her first, because she does children's books, uh -huh. so that's her genre. So it was like, you know, it was kind of like, you know, a meeting of the minds in a different space. Both of us were in different spaces. I was in a different space with regards to writing the book itself. And then she was in a different space because she had never published a book like this. Everything was children's books, you know what I'm saying? So wow. it, it was it was good, man. That's beautiful. And I mean, the the artwork you know the photography the yeah. just the memoir it's, it's definitely a memoir um that, you call it a manuscript but it it, it feels it, it it gives you like a coffee table vibe you know what i'm saying that, it's something i want out on my coffee table but i also notice that i keep taking it back to my room again and i have it by my bed and i'm like okay so what is it is it a coffee table book or do i want to do i want to read it before bed and kind of get give myself a little bit of like a grounding you know what i'm saying because what you got in here is that's why I say it's gonna be the gospel. If someone digs it up, it's the gospel of Tracy Lee. Yeah, you know? well, and that's interesting you said that because my her aim was a coffee table book. She wanted to create a coffee table book. But to your to your point, the 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 the, the stuff that is in there, it's something that you know, I, I even you know, and I wrote it, and it's just something that I need to go back and remind myself of every time, you know, because you know we're human. We catch ourselves drifting off into certain spaces when you're trying to stay focused. So I have to remind myself, what did I write about this particular situation? And I go to a chapter and look in the journal, be like, okay, Trey, stay on course. So it is something that you know you have you have by your side. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you know, just as constant reminders. So I, you know what, and that's one of the big biggest um, compliments that, that I have gotten because that's exactly what I, I wanted this book to be you know what I'm saying a, a god of sorts you know what I'm saying like you know just just in case you start drifting off or just in case you need confirmation or just in case you need some you know inspiration you know what I mean and you know you have something to look at and be like all right bet I got it now you know what I'm saying so appreciate that of course hey yeah. so, something real quick you know that I Again, it's, it's kind of going along with the theme of what we've had, especially lately during this, you know, this time, things are finally starting to open back up and stuff, but it's been really um, inspiring for me. You know, having a platform and stuff though, that the artists um, really took this time and took it to create. And uh, I mean, and, that, and that's inspiring to me, bro, because you know, we, we want to see that. And maybe people did need to see people go outside the box a little bit. And you know, like you did and come out with a book and challenge yourself, not only yourself, but your, your wife, um, you guys challenged each other on this. And that's something, I don't know if just the pandemic brought it out, but it's something that at least we see a positive part of all that negative, you know, a lot of creativity. No, no, no. I, I, I absolutely think it was the pandemic because it, for, for creatives, yeah. it put you, you know, in a, in a, in a, in it where, where it gave you time to sit still. It gave you time to sit down and focus, right? And 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 and, and clear yourself from the distractions because what would you have been doing had it not been the, for the pandemic? You would have been moving and shaking and doing other things. Now you would, might might have created differently. But I think, and I can only speak for myself, for myself, it gave me the opportunity to hunker down, you know what I'm saying? See the world for what it was and what it is and what it currently is doing and documenting, you know what I'm saying? Because there's no, where else am I going? You know what I'm saying? You know, so so I, I think for creatives, it, it gave you a, 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 a much different space to create and if you are creative you know it was almost like the world was your canvas you know what i'm saying it's like man i got the time and the opportunity to really dig in do some soul searching 
you know what I'm saying, and, and, and tell a, a, a narrative of, of things that are going on, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 I, and, I, and I compare this, not comparing myself to Marvin or Curtis, another of the greats, these are my inspirations, Marvin Gaye, Curtis Mayfield, people like that, but in times like these, they always wrote about what was going on. You see what I'm saying? What's so going on? Mean? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So that was a part of the, the my whole ideology and psyche is like, who's documenting this thing? And so I just think the pandemic just gave me the space to do that. And and a lot of creatives, even with the green screens, you know what I'm saying? Like yes. people doing videos with green screens and, and doing something, just something totally different that they would not have thought about had it not been for the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? I'm curious. I thank you for sharing your inspirations and the, the people that you look up to and, and you draw from. But I'm curious where the philosophy that you carry through not only the manuscript here, but the music itself and just in general through your life. You know, there's a lot of people who get bitter when certain things happen to them and they walk around with the chip on their shoulder. And I found studying you and listening to your music and hearing your stories you got better you didn't yeah. get bitter and yeah. where did that philosophy come from is it you know upbringing is it college is it who who did that for you and and how did you carry it through all the way this far in in your music now Nah, it, it was definitely upbringing. It was definitely my mother. It was, you know, I, I was brought up in the church, you know what I'm saying? But then, you know, as you get older and things start to evolve and you start to get knowledge and you start to learn certain things uh, about what the church is and what religion is and what spirituality is, the common thing is, is, is the spirit. The common thing for me is God, you know what I'm saying? I think those other things are a bit divisive because, you know, you're, 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 because at one point you're saying believe in this, but then condemn those that believe in that. Well, who are you to say as, you know, a human being who you should, you know, condemn and who you should accept, you know what I'm saying? As the saying goes, you know, those who live in a glass house should not cast the first stone, you know what I'm saying? Like, Amen. So, but the, but again, the common thing, theme and, and, and the commonality amongst all of that is God and God is love. And so, you know, that's the thing that I've just, you know, decided to run with, you know, in my entire life, you know, through the ups and downs, the good, the bad, blah, 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 because there's things that, that have happened in my life that, you know, I, I, I bear witness and I'm a testimony, like, you know, I'm, I'm a living testimony because I'm still here and I know the things that I've been through and I don't really get into the discussion about whether, you know, this is true or that is true. I can only go on what my, what my testimony is. And so those are the things that have gotten me through life. And so that is what keeps me moving, keeps me going. And again, it all it stems from the foundation of my mother and, and how she, you know, have, has brought me up and, and the things that she's always taught me. And so I just, you know, just carry that, you know, throughout. Hey, part, part of that, like what you're saying, is your upbringing and stuff, and obviously you're a thinking man, you make, you know, uh, put things together and make your own decisions versus, you know, just what you see. And um, you've also, you know, for those that don't know, taken it even further, like you're, you, you've gone to college, you're, educate like a, a big time cut like it ain't no like little thing like you know what i mean like um can you can you just speak on that a little was that part of upbringing as well or is that just a uh constant need to um kind of want to know more and and decide more because I, I always feel myself searching a little more for knowledge myself and i don't know i'm still trying to decide was that the way i was brought? i don't know i think that's my own choice but um in your situation because college background and everything man and i and i commend you for that by the way bro oh no i appreciate that nah that was definitely upbringing i mean my mother went to college my father went to college you know even though he wasn't in the household in the beginning but me and him have a great relationship now um you know all, you know practically like all well not practically all of my siblings went to school you know what i mean and 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 so that was just a part of you know the fabric of of, of how we came up now you know it, Again, we're human. That does, that does not sit. That does not um, uh, uh, take away from the fact that you know, especially in my younger days, I you know, I, I I went to college and I and I had a thirst for knowledge, but I had a lot of play in me too. So I used to party all the time. You know, I wasn't the most studious cat. You know, I think I had a little bit of a gift because I could you know do things 
um, not apply myself, you know, fully and still be able to get by with a B and, you know, a couple of A's and a C here and there, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to if I'd have locked in, I know the, it, things would have been, you know, from a, from an educational, well, not from an educational perspective, but from a studious perspective, I probably could have achieved a lot more. But I think my education comes from not only school, because in the society we live in they teach you that you know the more schooling you have the better opportunities that you have and so forth and so on and because we're people of color you know what i'm saying in america we have to work twice as hard so that was always instilled but at the same time i think i'm more of a student of life i'm more of a student of, uh, uh, you know i get my education from life i get my education from the street i get my education from the from the school i get my education from other people and their experiences and having these kind of conversations so you know you know we we take that we take all of this you know we create a gumbo and then we decide okay so what move what what chess piece should i move and how should i move this time and that time so that is what led me to after you know we go to school we get the degree then we get the we sign the deal and then the, you know that whole ordeal with, with the music business doesn't um pan out and it's something different than what I thought it was going to be that pushed me into another direction of going back to school and then getting my JD and then becoming an attorney and being a licensed attorney and then adding all of that to to the arsenal if you will so now we put ourselves in a ourselves in a position that whatever way we want to move we can move you know what i'm saying like you know we, we the, the conversations are different the doors that are opening are different now you have to look at me in a different light and really you know not only was it an educational move but it was a chess move because of the direction that we're trying to go in you know what i'm saying Th thank you and real quick before her next question i just wanted to say that uh directly speaks to me my brother because i i feel the same way even during school and high school and all that man i didn't you know, I didn't study for tests. I just kind of knew the stuff. I knew enough, like you said, but I, if I applied myself, but then it was because of that is like, also the street knowledge was there. And if I didn't have that, I might not still be around. You know what I mean? So, Thanks. yeah, yeah Thanks. so it's like a blend of, I, I just, I'm glad you said that, bro. Uh, I absolutely, that. Yeah. absolutely, man. It's a lot of us out here like that, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. We just, you gotta speak on it. You yeah, know what I mean? right. Well, I am going to have Shay cue up the last song that I was going to finish up with, which is Smoke. And the reason why I want that one queued up is because I feel the ultimate clap back after the Biggie feature. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is is what you went ahead and did. So you know, yeah. people constantly have opinions and things they want to say, especially um, in this internet era. You know, they want to say it and and stream it to the world, but they don't say it to our face. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. the way that you handled it, you know, um, so for those of y'all who don't know, he has the very last feature that Biggie did. Biggie Smalls, the IG notorious one. Okay. Yes, she's talking about that guy. Yes, yeah. him. Yeah. All right. Jesus. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Then he kind of went underground for a little while. So mm -hmm. some fellow MCs and, and other people had an opinion about, oh, well, Tracy must have just, you know, not felt like he brought it on that track because we ain't never heard back from him again, right? They didn't think to check on Brother Tracy and say, hey, man, what's up? With, let's let's get together. Let's cipher let, what hip hop is about. No, right. they, they wanted to throw salt, right? Okay, yep. well, what have you been busy doing? Oh, nothing, just uh, becoming an attorney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, try, try that. Try that at home. So if y'all haven't seen Smoke, it's on YouTube and we have it queued up because we're going to play that because that's another one of my songs that I really yeah. vibe with. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because no we, we experience that on a regular basis. People who we think are going to support us in our growth and in our journey are some of the first ones, like you said, to throw a stone in a glass house. Mm-hmm. You, that's a fact. you always turn the other cheek and that's why i'm so curious this is why i'm so intrigued by this particular artist because he remains graceful he remains eloquent he remains he, his his spirit is not changed by the ugly you know what i'm saying no doubt. 
I and mean, we so, don't have time, man. We don't have time. Like it's, there are much bigger fish to fry. It's like we don't have time. There are more important things, you know. So, you know, I'm glad you brought that that up because you know, I, I, I you know, there were a bunch of people in my head. Yo, Trey, you got to do a song right. about a it. Right, track. Gotta, you got to go. You got to start da 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 da. And I'm like, nah, man. It ain't. It ain't. You, but but I tell you what, this is what I will do. I will let people know that I know what you did. You know yes. what I'm saying? And that, and that's it. And all I said was, you know what I'm saying? He don't know no better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'm going to let him run with it. He don't know no better. That's all. And that's you still right. put stuff in a song, though, because you got another song regarding, and this is probably maybe some of the inspiration of becoming an attorney, but people try to pull some, you know, I call it planes, trains, and automobiles when they try to move the money around and, you know, do some funny business and try to put you on goofy time with your contract, right? Yep. And yep. you could have got hung up on that, you yep. know? But like I said, you became better. So... Yep, yep. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to cut you off. No, and, and that's really, you know, um, like, I, like I alluded to before about the business, it, it was nothing like I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? And so... You know, you come into this game and all you want to do is rhyme. All you want to do is just, you know, give them bars and be the best MC you can be. But they never tell you, you know what I'm saying, that that's really like 5% of this game. You know what I'm saying? 95% of this game is business and politics. You know what I'm saying? That that and, 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 and because when you go down this path, it's almost like you learn from trial and error. You learn from bumping your head up against a wall. You know what I'm saying? You learn from, you know, things that's, and a lot of people don't come out of it. More, uh, the majority of people don't come out of it um, better than they were. You know, majority of people come out of it a lot worse, whether it be bankrupt, broke, drunk, uh, drugged out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, strung out. Um, you know, just, 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 in, just in horrible shape, trying to chase um, a high, a high that's, that's high, that 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 gets you higher than everything else that you, you know, that, that, that any drug that you could have taken, and that's the high of fame. That's the high of fame, and so you spend your life constantly chasing that high, and you'll do any and everything for that high, even you know, humiliate yourself for that high, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I thank God every day that, you know what I mean, because of the foundation that I got before I got into the game and I got signed at, uh, you know, um, I, I, comparatively a lot older than a lot of cats get signed. I was 25 going on 26 years old. I had already had a degree and all that other stuff. So there was certain things that I came with, even though I didn't know exactly what I was getting myself into, I still built up enough of a foundation for myself to understand once I did realize that, hey, man, you know, and, and I didn't leave voluntarily. I got dropped. Let's make that clear. But I was able to handle it in a different way because of the foundation, whereas most a lot of people would have said, oh, damn, I got dropped and then let that get to them and their ego wouldn't have allowed them to let go and they would have wound up chasing this dream forever instead of making a pivot you know what i'm saying so that's what i was able to do beautiful yeah, game plan yeah right? such an inspiration yes it, it sure is man because it and then there's a lot of times you know just to add on to that like uh, ego is one thing and then you know the the street side too or whatever sometimes want to make you know oh this dude did me but you got to think bigger picture and i and that's really inspirational what you said man Nah, man, thank you. Man, yeah, ego is a mug, man. Ego, <laughs> ego. That's another thing. Yeah. The chasing the higher fame and your ego will get you every time, yo. Every time. Man, thank you so much. I cannot wait to continue with you. He's got so much more. You know what I'm saying? We got to cut this one short because we got other artists, but we're going to cut to that video, um, Shay, and then we'll come back with Tracy Lee and we're going to just share your, your social media and just ways people can connect with you and whatnot. But I want them to see that smoke because they ain't want no smoke <laughs> from T. Lee. You know what I'm saying? So let's get What's into that, that Shay, that? on the B-Side show. Get you some of this smoke. <laughs> you ain't want none. Glory. Glory, my story's for the visceral, visceral. for those who believe in miracles. miracles. 
I thank the Lord for the vision, though, and Lord for all the bullets and all material. I'm sorry, Tracy Lee probably hates me at this point. <laughs> yes. But he body Tracy Lee. Wow. Like. Yeah. yeah. But I'ma let him run with it. With he it. don't know no better, like I ain't done with it. But like I ain't one with the sun with it. Expect another rapper with a satchel, nah, I'm, I'm some different. Yeah. I've been selected by the ancestors. Every line I show you sounds like a hand gesture. You the man or you the man's jester. So divided, so I flow to keep our goals united, Manchester. Thus, let us commence with the rituals of rain dance. Sipping old spirits, but it provoke. I'm assembling the Seminoles. Tea leaves. Blowing peyote smoke signals out the tea leaves. Cause we highly favored you, hate us, we pray for you A man's yeah. Where to? I brought the bongos from the Congo The bloodlines been in each turbo My God through the power got his eyes on the sparrow Throw eye on you Diablos On the merits, I'm the illest, use the eye test Attorney and a rapper, that's a lot for you to digest A lot we can talk about on this project A wonder black woman is not an object the rate of black men that die in the process Black power via black economics You, you cannot box me and I'm accomplished The party is still be socially conscious The spit lava yet the flow is still agua The heart of kill mine is sold to Tyla The people are sheep and would rather follow The kind of MC that gotta be coddled And not an MC with this kind of bravado Prototype to handle the mic like custom model so tell her you press her who won't try me. I'm cut from the cloth of boss Wiley. Pre civil rights South Cacalac on a hundred acres, even with the clan on his back. You don't want that. All right, y'all. You don't want no smoke. Yeah, man. you don't want no smoke. You guys, you guys, you guys just learned today. <laughs> That's right. Hey, That's man. Right. Thank you, man, for tapping in with us, bro. We we appreciate that, man. That's uh, and again, really um, ingenuitive. I guess is that the right word? Uh, but to come up with the book and you know and. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, and everything because that's Glory. that that's a lot of work. It's already work putting an album out, but you went the extra length and and gave them the full experience, uh, especially mm -hmm. during this time, man. We need that entertainment, bro. Nah, entertainment man, I appreciate it, man. and inspiration. And inspiration. It's, it's it's edutainment. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Like, like the hey, teacher hey, said, this is what the, this is what the culture is about, right? This is what this is what the culture is about. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing that I think gets lost in a lot of the fanfare and all, you know, the the, bill, the billion dollar corporation and the money that people are making. They forget that this is what the culture is about. It's about being creative, innovative, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and even in like in times like this, you know, in the pandemic, this is when the culture stands tall because we find a way out of nowhere. You understand what I'm saying? So that's that's what it's about. You know and, what I mean? and given the truth, you brought the truth in this in this project. So yeah. th thank you so much for that. Yeah, yeah. Is that you know? And then real quick before we give your handles out and everything, just to add on to that, is that um, you know, get, giving that of what you just uh, explained, is that part of um, what what you could attribute the longevity to? Um, staying, oh, yeah. you know. Oh yeah, no, no, no. That oh, most definitely, man. You you. In order for people to sustain. And and, and 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 stay on the top of first of all they got to keep their ear to the pulse you got to keep your ear to the street you got to understand what's going on even with the new stuff you understand so so that you can you know put yourself in a position to 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 learn and grow and get better and 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 stay creative because if you don't then you become stagnant and so i i feel like 
you know, a lot of, you know, folks that are creative suffer from that because they don't want to move forward. You can still move forward, but maintain your integrity. Message. Maintain the way that you do it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know, even though you may not like something, that doesn't mean that you can't, you know what I'm saying, move forward and be you and not have to adapt to whatever they are doing. But not, but, but you be missing something if you don't keep an eye on it. Because there's something in that that you can get out of that to create the thing that you do best. Everybody got a gift, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. So you just got to tap into it. You know what I mean? Beautiful. He's bringing that, uh, you know, that real knowledge that for him to that. Spin. Yeah, man. Let him know. Hey, hey uh, go ahead, man. Let them know where they could get at you and all that stuff. And also uh, cop the project with the book and everything. Yes, please. Absolutely. Well, first and foremost, as, as my sister Danny has yeah. right there, yeah. you can always, you can cop that glory. TracyLeeMusic.com. That's T-R-A-C-E-Y-L-E-E Music.com. You must get this right here and pair it with the album, which is also available on TracyLeeMusic.com, but it's also available on all your streaming platforms. We have merch. We have, you know, uh, uh, things like that to go with it. You can you can follow me on IG at Tracy Lee ESQ. That's T-R-A-C-E-Y-L-E-E-E-S-Q. I'm also on Twitter at Trey Lee, T-R-A-Y-L-E-E. -E. But again, get that book. Glory, the manuscript, TracyLeeMusic.com, TracyLeeMusic.com. That's beautiful. I appreciate you so much for coming through and blessing no. our audience. Appreciate y'all, so man. much. Appreciate y'all. This and is beautiful. And y'all, that ESQ, remember Bill and Ted? Bill Preston Esquire. Yes. <laughs> he really is an Esquire, y'all. Like, he really can have that in his business card. He ain't fronting. So, I, I like that. Thank you. Thank you for being the real deal, homie Phil, Mr. Lee. Hey, thank you, my brother. We'll see you hey, when you're ever uh, over this way. Stop through our spot, man. Oh, I'm, on, I'm coming to check y'all out as soon as I touch down on the left coast. You ain't got to worry about that. You know what I mean? Straight off of LAX, you dig? Glory. That's right. Blessings. Thank you. Thank Mr. you, man. Lee. Peace out. Peace. Peace. Party time.